Hello, welcome to Define Astrid, Astrid Nonprofit's very first podcast episode. I am Kavya, and I'm part of the project executive team that will be hosting this, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Samantha. So, a little bit about Astrid before we go into this week's topic. Yep, um, Astrid is a nonprofit organization that strives to shed light on issues such as inequality in women's rights, the culturally constructed role of women, stereotypes, and more. We aim to spread awareness of present-day issues, especially with the youth of this day and age. The long-term goal is to help take one more step to equality in society. So this week's episode will be about Roe v. Wade. And I know this is a little bit of old news, even though it's very much important news. This what this happened a few mo- a few months ago, I think. But mm-hmm. we're going to be talking about it since we have a consecutive post go that went up on our Instagram, Astro Nonprofit. So we thought it'd be a good idea to talk about it on the podcast as well. So just a little bit of an intro about Roe v. Wade. Roe v. Wade is referring to a court case in the 1970s in which a pregnant single woman anonymously known as Jane Roe, filed a lawsuit to fight for both her own and other women's rights to abortion. Yeah, and although the outcome of the trial granted women the right to abortion, the right was not absolute. And there were limits as to when and in what situation a woman can legally have an abortion performed. So basically, Roe v. being overturned, that means that people who are pregnant, become pregnant in the future, will no longer have access to safe and legal abortions. And this is even in extreme cases such as rape, incest, and more. And basically half of the United States is expected to ban abortions. And even though abortions are banned, this means only safe ones are banned because cases of, again, rape and sexual assault will leave victims, again, to endure more trauma and they will be choosing to go towards unsafe abortions people who um who won't have access to abortions um will still try to access it but like probably in different ways that could include dangerous ways it'll be very dangerous for the fetus and as well as the person who is going to get the abortion So this was actually overturned by, it was a five to four vote. So five voted to overturn it. And I think four didn't, voted not to overturn it. Though I I think, yes. So the five members were actually Donald Trump's appointees, Amy Coney Barrett, Brett Kavanaugh, Neil Gorshuk, as well as Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito. So really, and um, actually it's cool because I'm pretty sure Olivia Rodrigo called out these people on one of her concerts. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Yeah, props to her because, you know, and Mm -hmm. what's even more frustrating is the fact that Amy Coney Bennett is a woman. And she's fighting against 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 her her rights. Yeah, Yeah. right. And I I just feel like, I mean, you're not... I don't see the point in this because it's not going to affect you in any way if this was not overturned. It's just basically converting a democracy country into a dictatorship. Mm-hmm. And Samantha, I think you came across. Oh, um, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I talk about, about it. it. Um, so I came across this one podcast this morning, and um, this guy, he he shared his opinions about the Roe v. Wade being overturned and his opinion about abortion care altogether. Um, So he agreed that abortion should be legal to a certain extent, um, and that it should be legal up until the 12th to 13th week or situations surrounding rape, incest, if the mother's life is in danger. But he believes that anything that is beyond that is murder, which I quite frankly disagree because um he can't I feel like you can't just limit um abortion to certain situations I feel like there's so many situations beyond that like um 
What if someone wasn't in the right financial situation to take care of a child? So I feel like his opinion is incorrect or, well, in some ways I do agree, like a situation surrounding rape, incest, or et cetera, et cetera. I feel like that is necessary, but I also feel like there is um, more situ- more types of situations that he did not uh, think about. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. But what I also think of this is that I don't know if many of you have seen Friends, but if you have, there is an episode where Rachel um, has a has false labor, so basically Braxton Hicks contractions, and Ross, who speeds to the hospital because he is a baby's father, he um, says, "Oh yeah, that's no big deal. It's it doesn't even hurt," and. What she says is no uterus, no opinion. And I think this applies to this as well, because if you are not affected by this, you don't get to have an opinion. And I'm, let me be clear here. I'm a huge believer of your opinion matters and everyone should have an opinion. But in cases like this, when it doesn't even affect you, how are you deciding what other people should or should not be doing? Because they're not able to understand right. the, the full position. situation exactly, and even I'm not able to understand because I've never been in the position of if I need to get an abortion or not. But and therefore, their opinion should not really. It should not. Yeah, and my I mean, point is, all, all opinions do matter, like we said. But I feel like um, they they don't understand the whole situation, so they can't really say. I agree. And I feel like in some cases, your opinion really, it should not, it should not be out there. (laughs) You because I mean, most of the people on the board were men who will not be getting an abortion or would have not (laughs) had an abortion. So who are they to decide on if like half the states in the U.S. with plenty of people in them who need abortions want abortions? should have should not have them who are they to decide mm-hmm. so i was listening to this uh, the podcast and um the guy also mentioned that it is not a federal issue but something but rather something that should be handled within states so i think what he's or because it he does not see it as a federal issue um he's kind of like saying it's not as important because federal issues are um more talked about or like um in a higher like like more people talk about it now um so i feel like i disagree because um women's rights is human's rights therefore it should be a federal matter i feel like he's just like disregarding um women woman. i feel like he's not in a position to understand yes definitely and it comes back to the fact of no uterus no opinion Mm-hmm. And I see a lot of people talking about this over on TikTok, and, and I think it's like a really great way to spread awareness of the fact that we are not, the, we're not like a de- democratic, we're not in a position to be a dem- democratic country. But I also <laughs> see people who talk about it and they're like, it's a good thing because women should not have rights and women should not be in a a position of choosing. And it somehow comes back to women's rights, which again leads back to people's rights. Like how are men allowed to have rights, but women should not. I don't understand that point either because of somehow we're inferior, which again, don't know how, I don't know why, but so yeah, basically my question was just to ask you about um, your opinion on the mad, uh, on the podcast, and I, which I feel like you pretty much yeah, stated, right? I did. Basically, I agree with him on some of it, definitely not all of it, because I think that you should be able to have an abortion when you want to, or when you mm-hmm. need to, and it doesn't, it can't be like after 12 weeks, you're not allowed to have one, because, I mean, as long as you choose to have it and 
you think that that decision is what you want, if, if, if it's safe or not. It's, it's your body. You get to choose what happens to it. So I definitely don't agree about that fact. I feel like we should just be respectful of um, other people's decisions to get abortion because, again, it's not ours, but their decision. Agreed. I mean, it just... It's just that it's basic decent um, decency. You, you just have to be respectful of others. And there's also um, a saying, treat others the way that they would want to be treated. And it's a, different, a little different from the treat others the way you want to be treated. Because if you're treating someone the way you want to be treated, but it's not how they want to be treated, then that's not okay either. So I definitely think treat others the way they want to be treated is a very important quote because I get like it's respectful. It's the nice thing to do. Mm-hmm. Human decency. Yeah. So were you were planning on doing a question of the day for every podcast episode, which will be in the first week of every month. And we were also going to be doing some media suggestions. So we're just going to be giving you guys a book rec, um, music, and movie recommendations. Mm -hmm. So for the question of the day, it is going to be, what is the last movie that you've watched? And if you liked it. Mm -hmm. And the question Um, about the topic is... Are you, what are your opinions on basically Roe v. Wade? Just what do you think about it? Yeah. On the Roe v. Wade being overturned, um, Just, the, the random podcast guy. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Just what, share your what, opinion. We'd love basically. to hear your thoughts. Yes. Yeah. And maybe um, we can so, read out a few next podcast episode. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's true. Um, so basically, question of the day, what was the last movie you watched? Um, I, yesterday I watched this movie called Marriage Story. Um, it stars, I'm pretty sure, like, Scarlett Johansson. And this guy, his, I have his face engraved into my head, but I do not know his name. Give me one quick <laughs> second. I think, no. oh yeah, Adam Driver. It's with Adam, it's starring Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson. And I don't know, it just goes through their marriage. And I actually really like the movie, although it's pretty rough. And like, it's kind of, um, it talks about serious situations. So uh, Definitely. yeah, but I, I, I enjoyed watching it. I feel like it was very real. I felt like I was in it myself. So yeah. And completely opposite of that, I watched <laughs> Lemonade Mouth. <laughs> Which My was, childhood. which is basically a trip down memory lane. So I've taken upon it myself to rewatch every single childhood show and movie that I've watched when I was little. So I got a Disney Plus subscription, and now I'm doing that. Uh, the, the movie stars Bridget Mendler and Naomi Scott, Blake Michael, Adam Hicks, and Haley Kiyoko. Mm-hmm. So, They're all pretty big now. I yeah, remember are, listening definitely. to like. Um, uh, Bridget Mendler's Hurricane. That song yeah. was Naomi was Scott life. on Aladdin. Her song mm-hmm. was powerful, and um, and I'm pretty sure Bridget Mendler was in Good Luck Charlie as well, which yeah, I think yeah. was her debut. It might have been after Lemonade Mouth, though. So. Yeah, who knows? Um, yes. Yeah. And do you want to do the media rex, Samantha? Yeah, of course. So yeah. media suggestions we have. For movie, we have Little Woman. I know it sounds. I, I'm pretty sure everyone has heard of it, and if not, and, and um, a lot of people go check it out. It, yeah. It's a good movie. You mm-hmm. don't have to read the book, though. I would prefer the book is so- it if you do, <laughs> but you know it's fine. Not not everyone likes reading, so the movie is actually really good, and the actors are great as well. And I'm pretty sure a Marvel actor right now was one of the characters in the movie. Timothy Chalamet, Emma Watson. Yeah. Um, 
uh, and Emma uh, Watson. You got to watch it for her. Yeah, right? this Florence. Is... Florence. She is the one who oh, yeah, is. Florence. Uh, yeah, she was amazing. I'm trying to think what Marvel character she is now. I can't think of it. Uh, she was in Black Widow. She was yeah, a sister. She was a sister. Yeah, I tried. Re- I actually tried reading the book, but it was a little too long for my life. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so I know. it's not for everyone. If you guys are not into long books, I feel like watching the movie. movie is a safe option. Yeah. And she is Yelena Belova in Marvel, Black mm-hmm. Widow. Um, so- next is the uh, book recommendation, which is Pride and Prejudice. How can you not oh. like it? <laughs> Jane Austen. Uh, it also has a movie, actually, right? Um, Our very own feminist. Again, Jane book Austen. and movie. The book and movie are both really good. Yeah. Yeah. And though it is a book recommendation, you can watch it as a movie as well. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Jane Austen was just I mean, incredible. I mean, like, it. she was what got me into classical uh, books. So um, if you're interested in indulging yourself into some classics or just a book in general definitely check out pride and prejudice yes and lastly song we have woman by doja cat i mean come on it's it's a classic (laughs) basically um so yeah and social medias so if you would like to follow astrid um on social medias we have a discord which will be linked on our instagram which again is astrid nonprofit we also have an eventbrite where we'll we'll be doing um either bi-weekly or monthly events such as game night and the pod like maybe behind the scenes of a podcast we'll see we haven't really <laughs> worked on the full event list but we are doing that as well so you can follow our eventbrite for updates on that and we also have a tiktok which is astrid nonprofit yeah, definitely so, check those out when you have the time. Yes. All right, guys. So that is it for our first podcast. Let us know if you have any suggestion on how we can improve this, because this was very new to both of us, and we mm-hmm. were struggling with the recording part of it. But I think we worked it out. So definitely let us know if you have any suggestions or anything that we can improve. We're open to those. And please don't be mean. Um, yeah, you guys but don't know how many times we co- we recorded this. We're like, hold up, not right. Let's not right. Again. We gotta go back. Yeah. So <laughs> that is basically it for the first podcast. We really hope you guys enjoy our little quick little discussion and maybe a little bashing of people. But you know, it's all fair and lo- uh, all fair in politics. So that. All right. We will see you yeah. then on, in September. Yeah. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Bye. Bye.